have a lot of good incoming freshmen. Um, they're really working hard. I'm really proud of them. They're on the ice. Every Tuesday, Thursday, we're just killing it. I'm so excited to be back on the team this semester. Um, it's hard over the summer because we don't get to skate as much, especially like as a team. Um, so it's really exciting to get back on the ice with everyone, and it's just exciting like with competition coming up in a few weeks. We're preparing for our competition at the University of South Florida in Tampa coming up here just in a couple weeks and we're really looking forward to getting the season kicked off um, to build momentum for the spring semester and ultimately hoping to make it to nationals in California this year. If we qualify this will be like our third time qualifying for nationals but um, this will be our second time that we'll actually be able to go so I feel like we've been doing a lot more like preparation for that so we've done like the concessions we've worked concessions like two times just to raise money to go and do that and just like seeing the girls and like their dedication to the team and like how they're going to do like things off the ice to like help benefit the team such as like concessions and stuff has just been like really cool just to see that they're just like so motivated and they care so much about the team so that's been like really good to see. I think we really focus on um, team bonding in the sense of we want to be even though we're all out on the ice separately we want to be one united front and we want to be together. Um, not only as athletes, but um, as sisters in Christ, which I think is really cool and a, a cool opportunity to, to show other teams what that looks like to be united and um, to be focused on the gospel, which is a really cool thing. So we really emphasize, um, like we get breakfast together after workouts and um, we'll do worship nights and other fun things um, just to help each other grow together, but also to the Lord, which is really cool. We had a team bonding at Marissa's house this, um, a few weeks ago. Um, so that was really nice, and it was nice to be able to really connect with um, the new girls um, and just be able to talk and everything. We do try to build the relationships with the girls like off the ice, especially just because when you're on the ice in training, sometimes you can your personality can be a lot different than when you're off the ice. It's really cool because since we do have our competition in November, normally they're all in the spring semester. So we've kind of been nipped in the butt a little bit just to get going this semester. Um, just because we have to prepare for that now. So we're like, oh yeah, we gotta be able to um, compete in November. So um, yeah, with nationals and everything, we're gonna hope to make it there and make it to, because they're in California this year. So we're gonna try our best, and, um, but I do think we have a really good chance of making it this year. Coming off such a great season last season and being able to um, qualify for nationals, but attend for the first time in the program's history, um, and just continuing that, knowing what we're capable of, and gives us a little bit of confidence, but also helps us to know we need to work hard and we need to earn it. We're just putting all of our effort into all these practices coming up and these competitions to really be able to um, qualify this year. We're doing more like mock competitions as well, so the girls are kind of practicing like getting into that like competitive atmosphere, that competitive mindset. Um, and so that's been really good to see them as well, just like being so dedicated and working really hard for that. And so I just feel like this semester especially, I mean again, because we do have our first competition in November, so it's like everyone kind of has to be more on their A game, especially this semester. But just like even like looking ahead of our first competition just for nationals, um, we've been doing a lot more preparation and a lot more work for that. So since this is my last year, um, I'm really not taking anything for granted and just really appreciating every moment that I'm able to experience with these girls and just making um, lasting relationships, um, even with the freshmen, um, just making sure that they feel welcomed and included and just creating a good team culture that um, we'll be able to carry on throughout when all the seniors are gone since we do have a large graduating class. Um, it'll be good to know that we're leaving it in good hands. <laughs>